Hello friends, back again with another tutorial. Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. If you guys are getting the issue like your Wi-Fi is connected in your Android smartphone, tablets or Android TV but you do not have a internet access, you can follow the steps in this tutorial. Uh, currently I am going to show you the steps in my Android smartphone but you can follow these steps, try to figure out these steps and then you can search for the setting in your Android tablets and TV and you can try these steps in all those Android tablets and TV too. But in this tutorial, a step by step guide I am going to show you on an Android smartphone. So you can follow these steps, one the other steps will definitely help you guys. So let's begin. Okay guys, you can just go to Wi-Fi from the setting and then select your Wi-Fi and then click on forgot network. When you click on forgot network, your Wi-Fi will be automatically, you can see, disconnected. Now, again you come back to the setting and the Wi-Fi, you just gonna put the password and connect it. So put the password correctly and then connect it. And you're gonna see connected. You have an excellent signal strength and the Wi-Fi is connected. Wi-Fi. Just tap the Wi-Fi and you're gonna see this page. You can even open this from the setting. Just tap the, your Wi-Fi network, select your Wi-Fi network and tap it. Somewhere you're gonna see manage network setting or you might have some different option. Sometime you might get this option directly. Is the so advanced option. So check this advanced option and then you're gonna see a static. So the different device has a different ways. You just have to get to the advanced option, guys. Just and then somewhere you're gonna see IP setting where you have a two different options, DSCP and a static. You're gonna choose a static. So that is you're gonna do because in the beginning, when you tap to the Wi-Fi network, you might have a different ways it will display you the option in a different smartphone so anyway access the advanced option choose a static in static you're going to put your static wi-fi address like 192.168.68.100.60 is right over here so you can change this value so everything should be fine 192.168.100. instead of 60 you can put 61 so you can put any value from 1 to 254 1 to 254. Default gateway should be 192.168.100.1 and you can put 24 over here. DNS should be 192.168.100.1 and everything should be as it is. You don't have to make any changes. And then you can just try to save it and connect it. And you can see Wi-Fi connected. Let me tap it once again. If the, it is still do not work, again you have to access the advanced option Check this box, advanced option, and then here you have a static, you're going to choose a static again. And then here you have, instead of 100, what are you going to do? Instead of 100, you're going to change it to 1, 1.61, 192, 1.61. Here you have 100.1. You can have the value 1 over here. 1.1 and here over also you can change it to 1.1 and everything should be as it is it should be 24 over here and all this and try to connect it if this two method do not work you can proceed to the next method the next step you can follow to fix this issue open the no more pad as you can see it's a numeric pad where you dial a phone number so you just open it and then you're going to type star hash 0011 hash and you'll have this option so it, uh, it is a service mode so in the different device there will be a different shortcut code that you can dial to access a service mode so here I'll show you some of the code so first one is star has 0011 has works for uh, Samsung phone. So this works for Samsung phone. 
so you can use it in a Samsung phone, Samsung Android phone and there are several other code you can try in order to access Wi-Fi or in order to access a service mode you know other Android devices other Android smartphone so I'm not sure whether these codes really work for your other Android smartphones or not but this works for this is steps and this code works for your Samsung on the top you're gonna see more so click on this more and then you're gonna tap to Wi-Fi click on this Wi-Fi when you tap on Wi-Fi you're gonna see this page somewhere in this device I do not have the option you're gonna see the option as off here you have a ping test on the top of ping tab test you'll have the option to off so you just have to turn it off and then restart your smartphone if you do not have the option you can skip this step because currently in this Samsung smartphone I do not have an option to turn it off so turn it off you have an option to turn off then restart your phone or skip this step in some smartphone when you type it and then at the last you're gonna type star you'll see this page when you tap to Wi-Fi you're gonna see this now you tap to Wi-Fi status you just have to refresh the start and then go back check out the router it's the next thing that you're gonna do you can restart your router you can turn it off and turn it all on again somewhere you're gonna see the reset button try to reset your router you can see the small pin here in, in my router so in your router if it is a there is any kind of a reset button you can try resetting your router you can turn it off and turn it on again you can restart your router make sure everything is fine with your router and router signal if anything is blocking the router in front of the router you should not put any kinds of object that block the signal apart from that even if you have a problem with your router you can just contact your internet service provider so internet service provider gonna help you nearby service provider you can just contact and get help with the router so this is the next thing that you can do in order to fix the issue the next step you can go to the settings in settings somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset here's the backup and reset in some phone directly at the bottom you're gonna see the factory reset but in my phone here I have a backup and reset in one the either way I'm just trying to access the factory data reset so somewhere in your phone in a setting you're gonna see factory data reset it doesn't matter whichever version of phone you are using or whichever brand or whichever device you are using here's the factory data reset you're gonna access it and then you're gonna click on it so once you click on it you're gonna read all this properly so it's gonna delete lots of information from your phone so be careful and just read it before you continue and then finally at the bottom of your phone you can see reset device click on reset device in order to reset your device so it's gonna ask you for the final confirmation click on delete all so it will delete all the information and erase everything from your phone so you can proceed if you want for the factory reset and then you can just log into your phone again you can turn on your phone again and then you can try connecting to the Wi-Fi and it should be working fine if all these steps really help you guys be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and share this video you can help out your friends and many other people have a good day